Hey, it's Swag Vintage AZ once again, and we're gonna go thrifting today, and you are invited to come with us. I'm actually hitting the same thrift store uh, that I visited in the other two videos. So it just goes to show, it's all about frequency, right? So here is a little end table. I thought it was mildly cute, but it was very expensive and not remarkable, so I left it. This, however, I did pick up. Price tag's a little high, but it has marble handles and brass, a complete set. I may upgrade my brass, all brass set at home, or I'll sell this one at our booth because I don't want to ship it. Ugh, this heartbreaker. Look at this thing. It's not wood, it's plastic pretending to be wood, which is my friend's favorite thing to say. Look at that shade, but $40. I left it. I picked this one up, carried it around the store the entire trip, and then decided it was too damaged to take home, so I left it. And this I got tricked. I was like, oh, look, it's another one, and it's probably vintage too. And then I was like, no, it's not. It's really not. So uh, that one I left behind as well. I liked this, but it was super rickety, so I left it. This one brings back memories. I think we had one of these in the house when I was a kid. A uh, nice glass lamp there. This phone was kind of interesting. It's obviously a reproduction, old timey phone made for a landline. Uh, cute, but I left it. Into the bags. I love the bags. I feel like the best deals are in the bags. These were cute shells, but one had a broken point, so I left that one. Some napkin rings that I considered momentarily. Mm, more bags and then, ooh, hello, of course, carved wood. They're made in India and a nice set, so I picked those up. And the wood shelf. You'll see me revisit the wood shelf a number of times. I liked this bowl. It's weird. It's well made, so I picked that one up. Good price on it. And here I am rummaging, which is a requirement for this job. And there was a, oh, really bad camera work. Okay, never mind. Mm, oh, score, pineapple bowl. These are so cute and they sell pretty well. So $1.50, yep, that goes in the cart. Still looking. I wonder if I should have picked that up. I don't even know, are those worth anything? I didn't do any research on that. And then, oh, hello, a little brass piece. That's actually a West Elm piece. This one, just total mystery, uh, but it was very expensive. It was like $25, did I see that right? Looking into the art, this piece I really liked. And then I thought, no, it's maybe a student piece. But then I looked again and the colors are good. The line work is good nicely framed it's signed so i did end up bringing that home even if it's a student piece it's well done and here we are in some kind of random utensils and bop i found a cool wood pair of salad tongs nice texture in good condition so those will go to the booth there's that wood piece again. I'm back in the wood aisle. I, I revisit the wood aisle a number of times. I liked the grain on this, uh, but then found that it had some feet on it and then some sort of quotes, so I left that one behind. And again, digging around and ew, gross. I hate masks. I don't know, they just freak me out. But this, I really, really liked. It's made in the People's Republic of China. It has its sticker on the back. I need to research and see what era that is, but I'm confident that it's vintage. It was so beautiful in really spectacular condition. And it was only $3.50. Okay, so these, another heartbreaker. I had to leave them behind $12.50 each. I mean, I can't even charge that. Maybe not even online or the booth, but they were heavy and really awesome. But then, haha, I found an ashtray, vintage stoneware, very cute with like little berries for just a small price and then got some maybe indiana glass but a vintage green pressed glass really cool shape diamond compote 
I loved these. They're very unique dripware. Obviously vintage when you see stamps like that. And then this one, yeah, USA, definitely vintage. But they were five plus dollars each. And that's about what I would charge at the booth. This was a cute little handbag I carried around for a little while and then decided, well, it's not quite vintage, so I put it back. I loved these dishes. I was considering bringing those home. And of course, they're Denby. I, anything I find that's Denby, I love automatically. But all they had were lunch plates, so I left them. And here I am just searching and searching because I was really hoping that I would get, that I would find the full set and I could bring it home. And then there's that is it Homer Laughlin from, I think, the first video? So those are still sitting. I thought they were really cute. I'm surprised they're still there. But maybe I'm just wrong. So, yeah, just searching. I, I'm looking to upgrade my dishware. But I'm looking for something dishwasher safe. These were really nice, but they were five fifty each. And again, I mean, that's like antique booth pricing. And, okay, hunk of wood. Of course I'm going to get it. I really loved the grain on it. Really, it'll be so pretty hanging up on a wall. So, grabbed that. These, I liked this kind of banana peel yellow and the texture. I didn't end up picking them up just because I think I was just not in the mood. And into the mugs. These are some of my favorites. Oh, uh, I loved this set of three. A little pricey, $2.50. I usually like to only pay a dollar, but I picked them up because they were such a nice set. Okay, into the vases. Uh, this was an interesting piece of glass, but it was really lightweight. And then I saw this Jack in the Pulpit vase. Really pretty, bright colors, not a chip, but I left it behind. I just didn't want to deal with it. I don't know. And then this looked like an interesting piece. It was. A night it's nicely done it was heavy I did a Google image search but nothing came up so I left that one cute but that was lightweight and a contemporary piece and I saw someone else pick it up so good for them I, another lightweight metal piece menorah that I left behind and then these are vintage Indiana glass sleeping kitty votive candle holders but they really only go for like seven dollars so at that price I left it oh and then there was a brass thing Ooh, I'm getting behind on the narration sorry these were too expensive I left them behind, but I did get that little brass vase you see in the cart. I just wanted to show these because I thought they were really neat. Um, not the type of stuff that I pick up, but I know that there are a lot of sellers out there who do that kind of vintage. These are Georges Briard. Um, this is a glass plate with gold and polka dots I thought was so cool. And then another brass piece that I found. I had to like reach underneath a thing to get all these, so that's why they're all in the cart. And a great brass candlestick from the lot sale that I'm going to have. Here's a platter. It looks like maybe for drinks. It was Florida. I feel like probably I should have picked this up. I could have put it in the booth for maybe $8, but I left it. I'm looking into some studio. Oh, score. There's the a matching bowl. Georges Briard. It has the signature as well, just like that plate did. I love these shelves. They're just so random. And I found this really cool studio pottery circle vase with the drips. It's signed. So I picked that one up. And then I was so excited to see this peeking through. Isn't it gorgeous? And I actually gasped in real life. Sadly, it was full of cracks and I had to leave it. It was just ready to crumble. Here are some Disney glasses. And maybe I missed out on something here. I know that Disney sells really well. I didn't do any research on the fly, but they were $3.50 each. And I kind of felt like, uh, probably the most I could get is like six or seven in the booth. So I left that. Loved this lamp. I love lamps, but $25. Nope, I had to pass. Searching for more, hoping for better pricing, but not today, didn't see anything else. And in the small frames, this was a really nice vintage mirror. Oh, don't look at me. And uh, I liked the bright red color. I liked the shape, really pretty. So I picked that one up. And here is the cart haul. I did put that magazine rack back. It was just too deteriorated. But everything else, I think, 
made the final cut. I always do a sanity check at the end. Okay, so here I am in my home studio, which is really just a shelf and a dresser where I keep all of my inventory. And let's do a little bit of a what sold. I had a pretty active week for me. Uh, this is my side hustle. It's not my main gig. So three sales in a week is really great for me. I have a four set of Anchor Hawking Tawny water glasses that sold. I have the full set of these in my kitchen. They, it's our daily glassware. We love them. I live in kind of a 70s-ish house, and so they are perfect for that. And I just really, really, really love Tawny in general. So do I have the fourth? Yep, there it is. Nice little group there. And next that sold was a studio pottery piece. I love this piece. I've had it for a while. I've listed it and then unlisted it and then listed it again because we find a use for it. We had our coffee grounds in it for a time. Here I am struggling to pull it out and very nervously balancing. So there's tons of glass over and then I use the camera to study it and there it is. Perfect job. It has the most beautiful drip glaze on the side with stoneware finish and it's stamped. Just a really, really lovely piece. I'm really happy for whoever purchased this because I've always really liked it, obviously. So then the next thing that's sold is in my drawers and I search a bit here and there it is. That is the, it's a cowbell. It's an African cowbell and it has a really nice sound. And I, I'm pleased to have sold it. You know, bells sell really well, either cowbells or traditional bells. Uh, never mind that polydent that's used for cleaning. But I wanted to show off some other pieces that I have still in my inventory. This is, I actually have a pair of these. They are harvesters. That's teak wood there on burlap and framed. Really, really pretty. I would love to see where they end up. They are available in my Etsy shop and offer up i believe and then this i have four pieces here these are a set of prints they don't seem to be limited edition or signed but they are vintage and framed really nicely and these are motorized carriages so i've always pictured these in an office um, and maybe it's a more traditional look like i'm picturing tufted leather chairs with the brass um, grommets all along the side a very whiskey and cigars kind of a parlor look and those are also available on my etsy shop so i will get to packing those things up soon and here's just a real quick stop in my inventory i love these 70s i drink to protest i drink to remember glasses these are a beautiful set of, is it Otagiri? Yes, Irish coffee mugs with blue irises that are also available. I have six of them ready to sell and I'll probably show off more of these at another video, assuming um, this is the kind of stuff people like to see. Most of this, I'd say 98% of what you see here is listed online. And here I am with a little time-lapse video. I love time-lapse videos. I'm packing up the orders and just want to say thanks for hanging out with me and thrifting. I hope you enjoyed the What Sold piece. You can find us on Etsy, OfferUp, Instagram with the same name, all one word, Swag Vintage AZ. And we're at the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, Arizona on I-17 and Cactus. If you'd like to come to our booth and grab some of our goodies. I'm not the only person filling the booth, actually. I have a partner who runs the booth with me, and he is phenomenal. So visit us. Thanks, guys.